let's get going so guys this is actually the third time i'm trying to film this um because i forgot how bad i am at youtube but anyway welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new man in your new 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 that's how my intros go all the same i'll ask you to subscribe like comment great intro right anyway so quick thing today we're going to be doing a as you can see by the title get real with me for those of you that do not know what a get real with me is is it's kind of like a get ready with me when we put on our makeup and everything but mine's just a bit different in that i speak about issues that are quite prevalent in body positivity self-love self-care all of that good stuff so if you have not watched that one already i'll link it up here you can go and see that one where i speak about cellulite and stretch marks i think it is but today we are speaking about varicose veins so i'm going to be doing my makeup uh, i'm not very good at multitasking so there's probably going to be a lot of umming and ahhing so please forgive me now and a lot of looking here and looking there because obviously i'm doing my makeup um, but I have moisturized my face with Dermalogica and then I've also primed my face with a primer that I can't find anymore but it is just a Maybelline I think it's like a perfect prime some kind of thing that's very close to the benefit pores no more anyway I don't think you guys need to know that because I'm not a makeup artist the aircon uh, air is on in the back so if it really bugs you guys please comment down below oh now it wants to make noise um, I might turn it off during, but I'm just getting a bit hot. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I've done my brows already. Well, it looks like I've done my brows already, I guess. Uh, I'm putting on makeup, yes. Um, I'm not necessarily going anywhere, no, um, because you can. Guys, this, it looks gross right now, but this infallible more than concealer by l'oreal it slaps it's literally like shape tape just a bit thicker and i feel like the coverage is even better anyway well, what i'm going to start off with is for those of you that do not know what varicose veins is i'm going to quickly give you a run oh i forgot my powder oh i forgot a lot of things okay. varicose veins are enlarged swollen and twisted veins they're often appearing as blue or dark purple they happen when faulty valves in the veins allow blood to flow in in the wrong direction or to pool in it. More than 23% of all adults uh, are thought to be affected by varicose veins. And basically it's just a superficial vein that you can see through the skin. Um, this is obviously, uh, it happens to everyone, every creed, every color. But um, obviously a bit more noticeable in Caucasian skin, which I have. So, you know, when you Google varicose veins, the first thing that comes up is like, obviously medical stuff, but if you YouTube varicose veins, again, same story. It's literally everything to do with getting rid of them. How do I get rid of them? What's the best way to cover them up? All these tips and tricks, but no real information, maybe one or two videos on getting real with each other and speaking about them and kind of, just accepting them so I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just start off by like telling you guys my personal little experience with varicose veins and then we can get into all of the other chit chat basically the first time I ever realized that I had varicose veins and obviously back then like if you guys know me and you've watched my stuff I've always had like issues with my body uh, how it looks my weight all of that stuff and I was sitting in the lounge one day and I was looking at my legs like obsessing over like all these new stretch marks and I looked on my right leg and I saw this like black and like blue thing on there so i was like what the hell is this like this actually to me it looked like a worm like a black purple worm so i was like freaking out and i was like what the hell is this i went and took a pin right and i actually popped the vein because i thought that like it was just like blood that had pooled there and it wasn't actually a vein um, and I really hated the way that it looked. I got the pin and then I pricked it and I mean at fucking 9, 10, 11 years old you don't know much about shit anyway so and it would not stop bleeding obviously because it was a 
flipping vein. I was like holding a tissue to it for so long and I couldn't quite understand why it wasn't going away. It was kind of getting worse. And then like after a while it kind of closed up. So I said to my mom, I was like, dude, what is this thing? And she said, it's a vein. Um, people get them all the time. And you know, it's just something that is hereditary. So science terms, they don't know why it necessarily occurs, but most of the time it's either hereditary. So any condition that puts excessive pressure on the legs or abdomen can lead to varicose veins. The most common pressure are pregnancy, obesity, and standing for long periods. Chronic constipation and in rare cases, tumors also can cause varicose veins. This is why you don't Google fucking symptoms. Anyway, my mom was like, she was like, girl, literally almost everyone in our family has this. Uh, it's just one of those things, unfortunately. I'm sorry. And there's not much that we can do about it. So that was when I was young. I was still very conscious of it, but like at that age, I wasn't as conscious of it as I was when I got into my like young teen years. I'm gonna put up some videos and some pictures throughout this whole thing so that you guys can see what my legs look like. Must have been high school and I moved home, so probably grade 10 and up. I was constantly complaining to my mom about it and she literally just said to me, she was like, well, there's really not much we can do about it, but if you feel like shocking about it and it's really like affecting your self-confidence and all that stuff, we can go to a doctor and see if there's anything that can be done, right? So obviously I was game. We went to a specialist. They basically take like a, kind of like a scanner, kind of like where your groin is groin. You know that like V by your vagina? <laughs> they check like um, all the valves over there that they're closing properly and everything. And if you are actually in fact eligible for this surgery and there's a number of ways that you can get rid of it right so there's the actual there's a laser removal there's something called sclerotherapy there's also actually like the physical removal of them where they actually just pull them out of your body so at that time the best thing that they could recommend for me because they weren't like they were more like superficial i'll show you now in terms of like very thin tiny surface ones not like the thicker kind of uh river running one so they're like okay cool you are eligible for this and it was very expensive so i was lucky enough to be put in a position to be able to well for my mom to be able to pay for me for that i was ready for the surgery and this could <laughs> literally be like my downfall in this whole thing but i went out the night before i wasn't necessarily like given any information as to what not to do there weren't any rules and regulations to follow so i was a bit hungover so got the surgery done and after the surgery oh let me tell you about the surgery so basically what they do is they take a syringe and i'm not too sure what it's full of but it has a chemical that basically gets injected into your veins and then from there on it basically goes into the veins kills the veins and then the veins collapse. While he's actually injecting it into you, you can see the veins going away, basically. So I was like, wow, this is insane. And you have to wear stockings afterwards, right? Um, so that you're basically creating pressure on the vein. And you can either choose like pantyhose or like pull-ups. I don't know why the fuck I chose pull-ups because it was the worst thing I've ever done in my entire life. And excuse me, my foundation is definitely not gonna match my, match my body. <laughs> and i was in an abnormal amount of pain like it was like toothache in my legs and that was for quite a couple of days eh? so i don't know if i had an adverse reaction because of the drinking the night before if you guys are a doctor and you know anything about that please comment down below and i had to wear them for quite a long time they were super annoying because they kept rolling down the whole time because i had thick thighs so that was not cute mm -hmm. And then you guys know that vein that I was talking about, the one that like bugged me when I was younger? That one actually didn't do too well in the process, right? So by too well, I mean that you can get something called thrombosis in one of the veins. So it was getting kind of like infected and clotted and whatever, I don't know the proper terms for it are. And I had to keep going to see the specialist to like put special creams on it and stuff like that. So it, all in all, like it didn't go so well, but results wise, um, Oh, I've just put thingy all over my bloody eyebrow. Results wise, um, it worked for a bit, but there is a complication with this, right? So 
they tell you obviously before the, the, the surgery that there's a possibility that you can get something called it could be called rosacea and i could be completely just lying to you guys and saying that that's the term you basically just get very very fine red veins that expand throughout the area where it got done because basically the blood has no way to go anymore so it creates these new little like superficial spider veins and i always knew that that was a possibility and i was really ready to risk it for the biscuit so i did that and unfortunately i was one of those people that got that so a couple of years down the line i've put on weight since obviously it has gotten so 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 much more intense than it ever started with the funny thing is the only vein that i know that has disappeared is the one i pricked in the first place i kind of just started to live to learn to live with it Obviously, it actually worked out so well for me because going hand in hand with uh, learning to love my body and everything and then also trying to learn to love every single part of me. So when people think about body positivity, usually they only speak about like the actual physical shape of the body, the weight of the body. They don't really speak about the terms that like still go with it, which is like acne and stretch marks and hair and all of that fun stuff it just kind of worked out well for me and i'm very very thankful that it happened at that time because i don't think i would have been able to cope i think i would have had to probably go back get a different kind of surgery and not really get over the issue at hand the reason why i wanted to speak about this is because this is not like i'm not the only person that i know that has dealt with the situation like people from different backgrounds and that have absolutely no similarities towards me in terms of like our body shape have actually like messaged me before and been like i actually also have varicose veins and it's been a really hard struggle for me and i hate them um, and i also went for surgeries and all that good stuff so it's not just one type of person that can get them right so then that's when i thought you know like maybe it's a good idea for me to speak out about this because we seem to all be going through the same shit. Yes, it's all in well and like saying just love your body for what it is, but like it goes so much more deeper than that. And I remember there used to be this, what was it? It was like something by Sally Williams, but we never got it in the country. It was like this spray that you could spray on your legs that was kind of like stockings and that it made it go away. And then there was also something from, I think it was Dermacol or something like that, where they create, ooh, they created this cream that you could put over your tattoos and everything to basically get rid of them and it was waterproof so i was also hunting for that but then i kind of just got fucking over it i can't tell you how i got over it or why i got over it i think it all just came together with me learning to love myself a little bit more and just be kinder to myself sorry this was an important moment and also like one of the main things that made me want to do this is that you guys know a couple of months ago kim kardashian released her what do you call K -K -K kkw beauty leg and arm and body i don't even know what the hell it's called i put it up here i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about and then i was even more so like not against it but like i was kind of like a little bit annoyed by it because i was like here we go here's another thing to like cover up something that we were given from birth something that we inherited something that we don't actually have much control of and something to make us compare ourselves to again so that was my main problem with all these lotions potions and everything again uh, it's all to conceal all to hide all to get rid of and there's literally no way in media or i haven't seen any like celebrities talking about it like saying that like you shouldn't be worried about varicose veins and that they're a usual thing and Obviously, I haven't had a baby, but like there's tons of people that have be had babies and also probably dealt with the same thing. If you guys have had a child or a couple of children and gotten varicose veins, comment down below. So just so people can see that it is actually a real thing. And I've lost my train of thought. You know, there's a number of times where I've wanted to edit out or like face tune my varicose veins and like close up pictures because I do do sometimes like a lot of work for bikini and stuff like that but you know what like i'm just a regular regular kind of person and i found that like if i can learn to love it or like get used to it or i wouldn't say like cope with it because it's not something we need to cope with 
but come to terms with then it's definitely something that you can also do the most important thing to know is that like again three two to three out of ten people are gonna have varicose veins the chances of you one having birth as a woman are kind of high the chances of you putting on weight from your teens to your mid-20s are also it's common so it's probably something that's happened to everyone a lot of the time you can't even see it because it's like on the back of your legs um specifically behind your knees i have those quite intensely as well and again in my previous video sorry i spoke about how like i was so worried about like what men would think when it came to my varicose veins and i'll say it again i've never ever ever had a man say to me that my varicose veins are disgusting and that I'm unlovable because I have varicose veins and I'm unlovable because I don't have like perfect legs so it's something that I thought was like a very like a huge deal breaker but it really 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 is not so if you have varicose veins and you have been struggling with your your image on them for a while I promise you you can go and look at every single plus size model or body activist and they will say the same thing that every kind of imperfection that you find with your body is something that a million and one other people have and that it's just normal sometimes you I, i'll never say get the shitty end of the stick because it's not a shitty end of the stick but like one person might have like an excessive hair growth situation going on and no varicose veins and you might have varicose veins and no stretch marks and the next person will have stretch marks but they'll have tons of cellulite so we've all got different parts of our body that society has kind of told us that they aren't pretty or acceptable anymore oh wow i have made this quite intense and i'm just here to tell you that specifically if you are a youngster and you are struggling to come to terms with this just stop i promise to god if there is a little asshole that makes fun of your varicose veins in 10 years time that little asshole is probably not even going to cross your mind and they literally do not make a difference in your life whatsoever um what people say about you isn't your reality um unless you make it your reality so if someone for example is saying to me um alex you have fucking hideous eyebrows um it doesn't make my eyebrows hideous does that make sense if someone says to me that you're not a very kind person that doesn't automatically make me an unkind person i'm not ever gonna say to someone okay don't go and get surgery and don't do this and whatnot because one of my family members, she also, basically all of us have uh, varicose veins. She had more of a situation where she was standing all the time, every single day standing for hours and hours and hours. Um, and it actually does get very sore for some people. It just kind of feels like this, this pressure that won't go away and your legs just feel heavy. So she actually got them removed, like the actual vein pulled out. You know, in that sense, I really do think it's perfectly more than normal to go and get them removed because it's actually bettering your life bettering your work if it has nothing to do with the actual um aesthetic appeal of it um then 100 go and do what you need to go and do i support that but if you're doing it because you think that they're ugly or someone's commented on them and you think that life's going to get better just because oh well um just because you're going to get rid of them that's not the truth whatever's going on with the internal is never gonna go away unless you deal with it what i'm trying to say is that no matter the amount of external work you do on yourself if you don't do the same amount of internal work on yourself you are never ever 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 going to be happy with how you feel so my recommendation to you is work on the inside first and if there is something that is really affecting your life 100% go and get it changed go and get it sorted go and get it fixed because that's 
that's a that's a that's a real problem and again i'm not going to sit here and judge people that are going to do it because they feel like it'll make things better for them but i'm literally just here to share my story and my experience with it bottom line of this whole entire thing is that i'm 27 now i think i've been dealing with these problems since i was 9 10 11 years old um so i can relate to you if you've been going through the same thing and you feel like you really wanted to change but from my experience i've told you i went through the surgery i don't even think i would have needed the surgery if i knew that like mentally i would be where i am right now so it does get better and it does take a little bit of work to start to love your body and you know love yourself and take care of yourself in the right ways the number one thing is to genuinely just be kind to yourself if you know that it, like the varicose veins are something that happen quite often and that it's nothing to do with how much of a good person you are or how well you treat people or how good you are at your job it has nothing to do that with that if you guys have questions or if you feel like you want to talk about it with me i'm here so you can either message me on instagram leave a comment actually direct message me on youtube as well i hope that this video somehow like gets to someone out there that was going through the same thing as me i promise you like at 27 there's so much more shit that we're worrying about adulting and these little veins on our body that are trying to make do are something that we can't really control and what we can control is how we treat ourselves and how we treat other people that is my little rant and rave on varicose veins just remember that you are beautiful no matter what lumps and bumps you have on you you are a person in this world that is meant to take up space and that is meant to be here and that is meant to live your own particular little life the way that you want to don't let people dictate to you how you move around the world and how you dress and how you speak and where you go and why you go do this shit for you do exactly what you want to do don't let your body hold you back if it's something that is aesthetically bothering you love you guys stay peachy and sending you lots of love and care through this quarantine time remember to wash your hands look after each other look after yourselves 